Today we're at Port O'Connor and we witnessed the reefing of 50 pyramids within the Keep It Wild Reef. It takes about 13 to 14 hours for the boat to come out of Freeport down to Port O'Connor, unload the pyramids and then go back. The contractor, which is Callan Marine and Atlantis Marine Group, were able to put 50 of them in today. They'll continue this until they're finished reefing the 500. An artificial reef is a man-made structure that's put into the ocean environment on purpose using man-made materials. And it is to simulate the natural environment using hard substrate, like in this particular project we're using concrete pyramids. The Gulf of Mexico in general is pretty barren of hard substrate and has a lot of mud and silt, especially off of Texas. The Port O'Connor Reef will bring an opportunity for local recreational fishermen to have a, a fishing site near shore that has easy access on the nice calm days and the days where it's you know a little rough but they can get out there. It's located roughly 13 miles from the mouth of the Port O'Connor jetties and it's six miles directly offshore of the beachfront in Port O'Connor. It's an opportunity for the recreational fishermen in the area to target snapper and other nearshore species that would be attracted to this reefing system. The artificial reef program is designed to uh, enhance and create marine habitat out in the Gulf of Mexico. What we're concentrating on is the nearshore environment where we're creating uh, nearshore reefs out of each major port and uh, within state waters. This particular reef site is 381 acres in size. It has a couple of subunits within it. One is the Keep It Wild Reef. The funding for this project was through the Texas Parks and Wildlife Foundation in conjunction with Coastal Conservation Association Texas and the Building Conservation Trust along with the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department. CCA Texas provide the funding for the permitting of the site. In the end, Building Conservation Trust provided $400,000. CCA Texas provided $200,000. And the Parks and Wildlife Foundation provided $400,000. These partnerships are vital to the artificial reef program. We wouldn't be able to do these projects without that support and, and the additional funding that's needed. In addition to CCA Texas and Parks and Wildlife Foundation, BCT, bringing this reef together and making a reality for the local residents, BCT has funded a $250,000 study over five years with Heart Research Institute. Heart Research Institute, led by Dr. Greg Stunts' team, will study the configurations of the different reefing areas and lay the footprint for what is the perfect reef that provides the most habitat and provides the most opportunity for recreational fishermen. I realize we just put material in the water today, but fish are attracted to these structures immediately. Uh, the entire reef site will become a, a, real, a very functional reef site probably within six months, but we hope to see you out there uh, soon because the fishing is good. It's a great community effort by all parties involved, and it's a win-win situation for recreational anglers throughout the state.